Welcome back to a new episode here in Swalvi. In today's video, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna quickly show you how, do you, how you can make a progress bar for your videos. Uh, most likely you have seen this effect on Instagram. A lot of videos have those. Um, so if you wanna be able to do that, it's actually pretty easy and I'm gonna try to show you, show you how you can make them in less than five minutes, hopefully. So first of all, I've already have one here done and you can see here, pro here progress bar test six. I had test, I had tested a couple of different versions because I wanted it to make a macro so that I can give it to you also. So then you can just download it and plug it into your videos and then you don't have to build everything from scratch. But in case you want to build your own and add a bunch of random stuff, I'm going to show you right away. So there's two ways that you can make them. The first one, and both ways are really easy. So the first one is you want to create a background node and then you add another background node to it and then you connect that to the media out. This first background is gonna be an alpha and then on this second background, we're gonna create a shape and we're also gonna change the color of it. Let's make it yellow this time. Then on the shape that we have, we're gonna increase the width and then we're gonna make it like a line here and oops, make it thin like that and then we position it down below right here towards this point you can also get closer adjust it accordingly and then what you want to do is you just copy and paste this as another one and then you're gonna go to the paint mode and change it here to multiply so then when we move this it's gonna affect the other one below and it's gonna not show it so for that first we're gonna go here and take it out of the way right on the edge and then we're gonna go to the first um let me open this up there to the first keyframe of our fusion composition and we're gonna create a position keyframe here in the center and then we're gonna go to the last one here and we're gonna go back to here to the center and we're gonna press 0.5 which is gonna bring it to the middle so that's gonna full, get the full bar rolling like that. And that's pretty much it. But then how do we get our macro or our bar to adjust depending on our clip so we can just drop it on top and stretch it out. So for that, what we wanna do is we're gonna add a keyframe stretcher there. And here on the keyframe start, we're gonna go to press one, right where our animation starts and then 119 which is where it ends. So then that's going to allow us to be able to drag our fusion composition. And when we drag it, that's going to affect the time and it's, you are able to stretch it easily without any trouble. All right, and that's the first way that you can do it. So for the second way that you can do this is you're going to create another fusion composition. We're going to use a similar method, but we're going to create a, uh, whoops, we're gonna create a background node and connect it. Okay, so when we create our background node, we're gonna add a paint, mo paint node right here. And on this paint node, we're gonna change the color and we're gonna select the polyline stroke method uh, type here. We're gonna go down here and press, click a line and then we're gonna hold shift. So it's gonna give us a straight line. Then we can go to brush controls and we can change it to a square or a circle depending on what you want. And you can adjust the size of it also. And then if you want to move it a position and change the position, you want to hold control and then you can put it that, move it around like that. You can position it whatever you want. You can also increase the size of it by adding more points all around your video. I've seen some of those that follow the whole square so they just don't want to have a one straight line. And then the way we animate this is by using the write on animation here. So we're going to drag it all the way to the start and we're gonna create a keyframe and then we go to the last frame and we're gonna complete this write on animation there. And that is pretty much it. Once you have that, then the same thing, we're gonna add a keyframe stretcher and increase the stretch start, put the stretch start to one and then to the other to 119. And then after that, we save it. We also don't have to forget to change our background to alpha mode so we can put it on top of any video that we want. And then we have that here. We have our line here. And then if we stretch it, it's also gonna change 
the timing of it yet. So then if we put it up here, of course it first has to render, but yeah, this is a video of when I was in, in on a safari in Tanzania and I, the, one of the trucks got stuck. Anyways, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Pretty much how you can make your own progress bars or loading bars in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Fusion. So yeah, that was it for this video and I hope that you enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and if you wanna see more and you can check the description for the link to download these progress bar that you can use for free because I haven't finished my website, the website for this yet. So, um, so I cannot put it up there yet because I'm still fig figuring out a bunch of those stuff. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned something that you find useful and that you can replicate and use it in all of your videos that you need to. And I hope to see you in the next video here in Swabi.